there's a Lakota word for um, being at peace, being in balance with the world around you, and it is wo Lakota. And I think that, uh, well, anyway, that is the way that I try to live my life, wo Lakota, in wo Lakota, in peace, in harmony, in balance. And it's a philosophy, it's a way of life, it's a way of um, believing that everything that you do every day, uh, when you walk on earth, um, you try to live in balance with, with whatever you have, whatever task you have at hand. When I was thinking about this today, um, the first thing I think of is smudging off uh, with sage and sweet grass. I think of putting out tobacco so that I say the right words. I think of uh, um, the future generations that might see this because it's, it's, it's going to be forever unless it gets burned up or whatever. But the idea is that to, being in Wolaka Kota, being in balance, I think that really ties into being resilient as well. Um, knowing that there are all kinds of things that are going to be put before you in your life. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of trials and tribulations, problems, issues. But if you keep in your mind that, um, that you're not alone, and that there are resources to help you, people, and then you're never alone because you have your spirit within you to help you. And so always, you know, think about um, maintaining wellness in your life. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we have people, we have wellness majors at Black Hill State. I think that's just cool that they major in being well. <laughs> and... And, but they're talking about, you know, being physically fit and mentally, you know, all these things. I, um, oftentimes I, I'm asked to speak to uh, um, the stress management class for the wellness majors. And so I will, I will go in there and I will smudge them off. And, they're, and first of all, they're saying, whew, this is stressful because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you know. But I explain, you know, the procedure. This is part of a a way of uh, thinking and believing and, and being well. And then, uh, and, then, and then, you know, talk about some of the things that help me to, to stay well. Um, to, to my prayers, certainly, but also in my interactions with people. My grandmother used to always say, um, try to affect one person every day of your life. Um, whoever that is. It can be your children. It can be an associate, it can be somebody on the street. Uh, maybe somebody's having a hard time, they're, they're, uh, they're, they've fallen or they, and they can't get up and you, you, know, you will affect that person that day. Do not walk past them if you, you know, help them. And so she said, in your mind, keep, keep that idea of having, consciously helping one person, do something good for one person every day of your life. And so that way you look outside of yourself and not just be selfish. And so I think, I think our wellness majors and, our, and I think our native people, our Lakota people, I think they're understanding that, that we have to do certain things and stay away from certain things to be well. One is alcohol and drugs. We, have to stay, we can't do those things and be well. And, we, and many of us realize that. Um, I quit smoking after many years of killing myself with smoke in my lungs. And, but I did that with prayer, and I did that with the help of a medicine woman um, who also was smoking, and we both made a pact to quit. And we did quit together. But by through prayer and through that connection to the spirits and, and, uh, and understanding that some things are more powerful than me, nicotine, that I had to seek help to, to, to help with that. Um, back in the day, we had individuals who were, who were specialists that dealt with certain kinds of issues. We had, we had our medicine people that did our herbal medicines, and, they, and even those, they had specialists in there. We had our bear dreamers. They dreamt of the bear, and they were, there, they were astute healers, wonderful healers. They had a vast array of knowledge of herbs, herbal remedies. They had a whole bunch of um, medicines that they knew. That they could that they could uh, call upon to help the people, 
and and so we had those specialists well now we have um other medicine people we have people that that um, heal and doctor so we still have those today uh, we have rick two dogs and Wilmer mestith and steve dubray and and you know all you know different ones in and some of our spiritual leaders who don't who are so humble that really don't want to be called spiritual leaders but like you know um uh, a relative of Dwayne Hollowhorn Bear, you know, um, um, Albert White Hat, you know, he's a he's a wonderful you know role model, and you know we have Marcella Laveau. So we have these people here today with us, but we need to um, talk to them and see how do you stay well, and and try to get you know their feelings of how they their philosophy essentially is what it is, and and I. And I and I main con- uh, contact with those elders. I try. To, I consciously do that to be well. That's what helps me be well by staying close to the elders. But on the other hand, also what helps me be well is by going every now and again to an elementary classroom and talking to little kids. They help me be well as well <laughs> because they ask the craziest questions and make me think. And I enjoy going and talking to them as, so that I can understand that, you know, it really humbles me that, you know, you think you have all this knowledge, Jace, you know, and those little kids ask me something. Like, oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know. that. <laughs> I'll come back and, and, and I, if I find the answer, I'll come back and tell you. I'll share that with you. You know, so um, the young and the old and, and all of us in between and some of us that are training to be elders, um, I think that uh, the idea of um, a way of life and, and looking at understanding that we're only on this earth for a limited amount of time. So use that time in a good way so that you can go on to the, the next life with a clean heart and also a, a clean name so that you don't tarnish it and you, and you can... And you can uh, be happy and look back. Like, like I know Fool's Crow is. I'm sure he's looking back at, on some of the people that he's helped. That, And he's happy, I think. And he still helps us. So I'll, help, I'll, be, I'll be a ghost and help people once I go on. I hope. I hope I will. <laughs>